Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to bring you this uh, YZF R125 from Yama. It's from a subscriber for the channel. For that uh, uh, I have to say thank you very much for lending me the motorcycle and to trust me enough to bring me, uh, to, to give me this motorcycle so I can have free time to ride it and appreciate it and give you uh, the review. This motorcycle is a standard stock, everything is stock on the motorcycle, there, there is nothing changed except this uh, tank protection that uh, it's an, the only thing that's an extra on the motorcycle. Everything I'm going to talk about it's a uh, factory uh, standard. Before we go to the uh, specs of the motorcycle I want to say thank you to my sponsors which is uh, Luso Motos for the helmet, the shark helmet which I already have a review. Also want to say thank you to RSW for the jacket, this one is the N2 model, sportive jacket for a sportive motorcycle and to wear and ride for the, the trousers which I wear all the time with this uh, protection. Now that we are here, we're going to start by the engine, uh, which is the most important thing on this motorcycle. It's uh, one cylinder, liquid cooled, uh, four stroke, 127 cc's, 15 horsepower at 9000 and 12.4 newtons at 6000 uh, rpm. What basically this, is, this means it's that it's a 125, you have enough power to overtake someone if you want, but top speeds in this motorcycle uh, will, will be around uh, 110, 120, and it can go a little bit faster if you have the proper uh, conditions, either from the rider or from the weather, okay? Uh, but basically this is it. Six gear, speed box, you have a chain here, you have a shock, shock absorber in the center with preload adjustments, you have a 140-70 tire uh, here, Michelin Pilot. You have the exhaust on the other side. And, okay, this is LEDs. This is not LEDs, so basically you don't have LEDs here. And on the front, we have LEDs here on the front. Again, this is not LED. Upside down suspension, 41 millimeters with a, a course of 130. We have one disc of uh, 292 millimeters, ABS brakes, of course, and we have a 180 R17 tire. Every, everything, again, Michelin tires, everything fits well on this motorcycle. I do like this blue black conjugation, it gives it a really nice uh, look to the motorcycle. I think I forgot to mention, but in the back, we have a uh, 242 millimeter uh, disc uh, also of course uh, we have to have a, a disc on the uh, brakes on the back i forgot to mention it uh, what else i can tell you about the the fuel tank 11.5 liters so it gives you around 400 kilometers range which means this bike spends around 2.4 to 2.5 liters uh, maximum uh, every 100 uh, kilometers and this is according to the owner okay uh, i will not have the bike uh, uh, time enough to do the, all those uh, range tests but the owner has a bike for a long time and he says uh, that's the consumption that he does so i'm going to trust him uh, because i have to that's the only uh, the main thing that you that uh, i have to trust the people that lend me the bikes with the information they give me because they do ride it every day so they have more experience with this motorcycle than what i have at the moment uh, the clock it's a, a brand new clock uh, i didn't mention but this is the 2019 model uh, the latest one we have two other models before this the from 2008 2013 which had a different clock which was a, a analog with a little bit digital and then on 2014 2018 they changed it for a digital clock and the uh, air entrance here on the front and now they changed again it's a brand new digital clock a brand new design and the motorcycle it's a bit a little bit better to handle than the previous uh, models also you can buy lots of access for this motorcycle but that's not the point you can buy a dark uh, windscreen you can buy protections for the the for the end guards you can buy more protections for the tanks uh, lots of things you can buy to make it more to your taste. Another important thing I just remembered, seat height, 825 millimeters. What does that means? It means 
that anyone will reach the floor with this uh, motorcycle. As you can see, I have a lot of clearance. So if I stand up, this is how I stand up. This is how I, how I look while I'm sitting down. And most important, it's the way I look while I'm riding the motorcycle. As you can see, my legs fit perfectly on the design of the motorcycle. And I'm a tall guy, one meter and 85. I weigh around 93 kilograms and the motorcycle ends, handles perfectly. Again, look at the riding position. I can go with my back straight. The previous models were more, was more sportive. So you have to go, you had to go a little bit more down. This one, you can go down if you want, but you can also go on this position if you want to enjoy the ride without uh, having to be racing on the racing position. But uh, the, the bike is a beautiful motorcycle. I will talk to you about the clock while riding. Uh, also, while riding, uh, I mentioned the fuel capacity and uh, I was mistaken. I said it was 9.5 liters, it's 11.5 liters. So I, I, make, I am already making that correction now. And basically, uh, this is it, the bike, uh, it's really nice. I've been riding it for a while, I've been enjoying it. Uh, and now, what are we gonna do? Just gonna wrap, wrap this up, go to the street and enjoy it a little bit more. of the Irfan ZF R125 from Yama, the 2019 model like you, you saw. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, the riding position, uh, performances, and all those things that I usually talk while I'm riding the motorcycle. So, usually I start by the mirrors. I like the mirrors. They are retractable and they have good visibility. They shake a little bit, but uh, I can re understand perfectly uh, what's coming behind me. Uh, so the mirrors, it's about, uh, in this case, 70, 70%, 70% visibility for the rear, both of them. So it is nice. So uh, I have no issues uh, with the mirrors. Uh, the clock, yeah, I, I used to call this the dashboard, but now I know the, you, you guys call this the clock. It's a digital clock where we have gear indicator, uh, RPM, the speeds, fuel level. You have a clock here. Let me just pay attention to traffic. And then you have the average 3.1 liters, instant average, average uh, kilometers. And you have uh, also odometer, trip A, trip B. And basically that's all the information that you have uh, on this clock. Uh, like I said before, this is the 2019 model. So you have complete uh, digital clock. Levers, they don't have any adjustments here, not except there, okay? But uh, here, they should, uh, nothing here. Uh, I, uh, I beams, low beams, blinkers. Okay, the blinkers I don't like because it, it just shows on that side, on that side, doesn't show on the other side. And we have a horn. On this side, we have the kill switch and you have the ignition button, okay? Electro electronic ignition, blah, 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 the standards uh, nowadays, so, uh, uh, there's no point being talking uh, about that uh, things that this bike uh, I really like uh, about the motorcycle for now uh, uh, what's impressing me the most it's the comfort of the, of the seat uh, I wasn't expecting it to be uh, too this, this comfortable being a naked also I like the size of the bike I like the size of this tank which is very small 
and allows me to control the bike with my legs. At this moment, look, I'm, I'm doing these corners and I'm using my legs to control how much the bike leans. I wasn't using uh, my hands, I was just holding the steering so that nothing happens, but I can control the bike very easily uh, with my legs. 140 kilograms, it's nothing, it's very light. And uh, now I'm using my hands, okay? Yes, yeah, you can see the control is completely different from when I'm using uh, my my legs, but uh, it's very easy to control the bike. Uh, it attacks corners really well. You, you have, uh, if you know what you're doing, of course, if you do the the proper entrance, the proper exit on the corners, uh, you will be all right. Also, you have to, you have to get to know the the motorcycle, the tires, the uh, the engine, everything. So you have the proper fun uh, with this uh, uh, Yamaha. But once you you know all that stuff, uh, I am pretty sure that uh, you will have a lot of fun with a scooter, a scooter, <laughs> a scooter, with a motorcycle like this. I said scooter because I used to drive. I'm used to uh, to drive scooters. Uh, the motorcycle uh, it has uh, enough power for you to have uh, a lot of fun. I'm just gonna say now top speeds I was able to do was 120 kilometers hour, but I'm gonna try to replicate this here in the English review if possible. Uh, maybe I can do a little bit better here because it's less wind than the place where I did the Portuguese review. So for that, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go here, down one. Okay, another here. We go, we're gonna go low, really low, 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 low. Push it to the limit. And one under, okay, you see, less wind here, I can do much better here. if I was not uh, mistaken because I wasn't looking at the dashboard all the time uh, so uh, as you can see the same motorcycle well you, you can't see but if you go watch the Portuguese review uh, it's the same motorcycle the same day the same pilot the same uh, <laughs> almost the same place the same area but the having no wind made all the difference. In the Portuguese review, I was only able to go 120 kilometers hour. In the English review, I was able to do 135, if I'm not mistaken, kilometers hour on the clock. So, uh, let's do an average, one, 130 <laughs> kilometers an hour. Uh, but, okay, we have to be honest, we are not going to ride all the time at those speeds so good riding speeds around 100 100 110 115 more than that is pushing the bike to the limits and uh, i don't think you're gonna do uh, that all the time uh, another important thing uh, riding position uh, of course it's a race motorcycle so you have to be leaning forward but you can also be riding like i am now uh, I, I, kept my, I put myself a little bit up, uh, the, the back a little bit more straight and I, I have the opportunity to just enjoy a ride and be talking to you without having to go in that racing position all the time. So this is really nice and really cool that we can do on this uh, Ypsilon ZF R125. Uh, you can race and you can talk and, and ride uh, normal just enjoying the, uh, a little Sunday afternoon or a Saturday ride with friends without uh, any uh, problems, especially for me that I'm almost 50 and uh, racing motorcycles are not uh, uh, the ones I like, okay? Uh, but uh, strange enough, I don't feel any discomfort on my back, I don't feel any discomfort on my legs, and I'm 1 meter and 85, okay? I'm uh, 91 kilograms, whoosh, almost a guy ate it, <laughs> almost an accident happened there. And uh, like I was saying, uh, I am very pleased with the, the riding position and the comfort of the bike. Okay, now I'm gonna do this the, upside, the other way, and as you can see, it's going up. 
and as you and as you expect it will not reach the same speed also you and I noticed that you have a rev indicator there that uh, tells you when to change gear you see it blinked white so it's telling you please change that thing up put it on put one more <laughs> But now uh, it's going up, it's not going to reach the 135 kilometers. And also I'm noticing that this moment I'm going against the wind. Uh, so it's, that will make a difference also. I can go a little bit more down, but it's not going to make too much difference. Uh, just go baby, go baby. Another one bites the dust. It's a six gear box, I still have one more, but it's it's dying already. It's not developing anymore. One down. And again. Once I change gear, it starts going down because it's too wind. So there is no point of going like this anymore. I just wanted to show you uh, that uh, wind, condi wind conditions make all the difference when we are doing top speeds and everything. Another thing I want to tell you is as you can see, I'm a big guy and my legs fit very well on this motorcycle. Uh, I like it the way they, they feel, they embrace the tank. It's really nice. It's amazing, amazing piece of equipment here. So what I'm gonna do now, is uh, do some braking tests. I have no one behind me, so let's go. One, two, three. Yeah, they are good. I like the brakes. They do their job, okay? 40, 50, 60. That's a little bit faster than usual. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> really nice brakes. And look at the way it likes to corner. Look at this. Here we go. Just for fun because I can I'm just doing this roundabout just for fun also I have to be careful because it's dirty but besides that I'm just having fun just to show you how much you can have fun with a motorcycle like this the suspensions are quite good I like the suspensions and having said this guys please don't forget subscribe to the channel follow my other networks click the notification bell down below so you receive uh, notifications of my videos and I really hope I can see you in the next one bye extra extra guys just a little things that I forgot to mention while I was doing the review that uh now that I've stayed a little bit more with the, the motorcycle, uh, I've noticed first of things, uh, the levers here, it's really nice. Down there, the, the pedal is amazing. The gears, they, they, they work very precise, very, very clean. I do like the, this um, gearbox. Uh, another thing here on the clock, it's interesting that you can personalize the, the clock when you, you turn on the key to say a little, little message and when you turn off the key it also shows you another message i think it's see you or buy or something like that which is nice uh, because it's these little details that you find on the motorcycle that make you choose uh, this one or the other one or the blah, blah, blah. so it's in the details that there are the the difference uh, when you are going uh, to buy the motorcycle and uh, I think, uh, oh, another thing I, I think I forgot to mention is that this motorcycle, it has a tank protect protection here on my legs, but this protection, it's uh, an extra, it's not a factory, so the owner of the motorcycle uh, put it there, so it's the only thing that is not a uh, factory. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, because it's been a while since I've, re uh, I've recorded. Uh, I'm just now on my way to uh, deliver uh, the motorcycle back to the owner and uh, uh, I just noticed and re 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 realized these uh, details while I was uh, recording and now guys it's really time to go see you in the next one bye